I have major news about glaucoma treatment. A novel 3D printed contact lens to provide glaucoma medication directly to the eye has successfully completed phase 2B of clinical trials. Let's talk about what this means and how it could improve treatment for glaucoma and potentially other conditions. Glaucoma is a disease that progressively damages the optic nerve, causing peripheral vision loss and eventually total vision loss if it goes untreated. It's treated by lowering eye pressure, which is usually accomplished with eye drops. Though most cases are managed with just one drop, sometimes multiple drops are needed or even laser procedures or more invasive types of surgeries. Though many do just fine with eye drops, there can be difficulties that reduce the efficacy of treatment. Like some have difficulty remembering to put them in or they may have trouble squeezing the eye drop bottle. Contact lens wearers have to time their drop installation properly around contact lens insertion and removal, or they may have to stop wearing contact lenses entirely if they're prescribed a drop that needs to be used more than twice a day. Also, people may suffer from side effects from the glaucoma medication, most often due to the preservative. More on that later. I can see this method of contact lens drug administration helping combat these issues in many cases. Often if someone struggles with compliant use of medication, laser or more invasive types of glaucoma surgeries are considered. And these are excellent ways to lower eye pressure around the clock because they provide constant improvement of the drainage routes of the intraocular fluid that causes that pressure to build up. But this contact lens could provide an alternative way to lower pressure around the clock without having an expensive or invasive procedure. It may not be for everyone because some are likely to have difficulty putting in contact lenses, especially if they experience other conditions like arthritis or Parkinson's but there is even a potential that caretakers and family members could assist with the contact lens insertion and removal. And since contact lenses won't have to be inserted every day, it could decrease the amount of missed dosage or drops that need to be used daily or even sometimes multiple times a day for some drops. So just requiring assistance a few times a week perhaps compared to every day or multiple times a day could relieve that huge barrier to care that some people experience with their eye drops. I could see it being an especially great option for someone who wears contact lenses or has worn them in the past sometimes forgets their eye drops and likes to be on the go. So that makes it a little difficult at times to have a good eye drop routine. And there are of course many others who could benefit. One of the goals of the company behind this lens is to prevent people from dropping out of contact lens wear because of glaucoma treatments or dry eye issues. So these lenses could accomplish correcting vision at the same time as administering the medication. And they could also work for those who prefer to wear glasses. They would just have no vision correcting prescription in them. The lens created by Mediprint Ophthalmics is called the LL-BMT1 lens. And I'm guessing BMT stands for bimatoprost, the eye pressure lowering drop that is in the contact lens. And I'm going to guess that LL stands for Leo lens, which is the former name of the company. But regardless, this particular medication imbibed contact lens that's being studied has these features. It slowly releases bimatoprost, which is in the prostaglandin family. This family of drops is usually the first line treatment for glaucoma patients because it tends to lower pressure more than other drops and can often control glaucoma on its own. So I can see why they chose this medication as the starting point. The lens also eludes hyaluronic acid, which is a molecule that occurs naturally in the body and it binds water very well. So it keeps it on the ocular surface for longer. It lubricates the eye, encourages cellular migration to heal a damaged ocular surface that happens in dry eye. It reduces oxidative stress and has some anti-inflammatory properties as well. While many people suffer from worsening dry eye symptoms as they age, this offers some relief to those symptoms as well. While your average contact lens to correct vision is associated with worsening dry eye symptoms, this lens is designed to release hyaluronic acid to reduce dry eye symptoms. And improvement occurred in 40% of patients in the study. And as an added bonus, there is no preservative in the medication, unlike most eye drops prescribed to treat glaucoma. Preservatives tend to be the culprit with adverse reactions like ocular redness, irritation, dryness, and allergic reactions. There are preservative-free eye pressure lowering eye drops, but they tend to be expensive 
and sometimes the vials are a little bit difficult to use. So this could provide us with another option in our toolkit to get people the best treatment plan that's individualized for their needs. Phase 2B of clinical trials is completed and all of the endpoints were reached without any severe adverse events. The study demonstrated that the drug-eluting contact lens was as successful at lowering the eye pressure as the eye drop alone and only six lens insertions were required over the course of three weeks compared to what would have been 21 doses of eye drops over that same period of time because they're dosed once daily. But this could have an even bigger impact if other drops that require more frequent dosage are incorporated into this type of medication application. So when could we anticipate something like this to be accessible in the real world? The next step is phase three clinical trials, which involve testing the efficacy, comparing it to other drugs and placebos, and monitoring side effects in thousands of patients, which typically takes one to four years. If all goes well there, regulatory approval can take between six months to two years. The lens is being studied in patients with mild to moderate glaucoma, so if it is approved, we're likely to see it being indicated to treat those particular stages of the disease. That means that if all goes well for this treatment method, it may be available to the public within one and a half to six or maybe more years. And it may seem like a long time, but we have to go through the beginning to reach the end. And I'm optimistic that this could expand our treatment options for many eye conditions, including dry eye that plagues millions and millions of people. That would be a wonderful thing. Please like this video if you learned something and share this exciting news with a friend. I appreciate you watching and hope you enjoyed it. I would love to see you next time, so please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and updates. Thanks again.